Welcome back to Hung Over Hand Right. <laughs> Austin, Austin Clem, Pro Fighter, filling in today for Chad. No Chad on this one. <laughs> Seth, Dylan, Jonathan. Whoa, Seth, Pro Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Seth's Under, right. Pro Fighter, understudy. He wrestled. Yeah, yeah. Understudy. He wrestled. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and, we, just, uh, we just made a new uh a new thing. Yeah. Understudy. An understudy of a pro fighter. <laughs> Does he study much, Clem? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh this is the UFC three oh six preview show, also known as Noche UFC. Ten whole fights. Presented by Riyadh Season, the Saudis sponsoring Mexican Independence Day UFC. In the sphere, if you haven't heard. Yeah. That's cool. Mm. Yeah, sphere so, is sick though, dude. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. badass. So yeah, yeah, I love Vegas. I love going there. <laughs> Ten fights. That's it. That yeah, seems sketchy to me. It's yeah. pro- fucking ES what, had twenty five fights. What happens if two of them fall off? Which uh, one of them is likely to? Right? Dude, they have to have backups like ready to yeah. go. They have to. Yeah, and they always do. But I wonder if it's got to do with the promotion and like the allotted time that they rented for. Maybe I mean I Dana's know. talked up the the production. So I'm sure it's gonna be, they're yeah. going to take up a lot of time with a, a lot, lot of, of videos stuff and, and yeah. Right. I feel like it's going to be more for the people that are there. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I bet they'll show some shit. I mean, they will, yeah. but I just wonder what that's going to look like on the TV screen. You know, just seeing fucking because it's because like the cage is going to be against a wall. You don't think they do the cage in the middle? Can they? Because it's all the liter- seating. It's, it's like stadium. It's all stand. Not sta- no, it's straight- like. Like theater style, yeah, I it's guess, like an amphitheater say. type thing. But, is yeah. it, but it's not oh. 360 around the. No, I don't think. Oh, yeah. See, I thought the sphere would go. Well, like it, unless they slide inside. it to the middle and like. Put is it more one now? wall like flat, and then the rest of it's circle? Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Which is where really I didn't the wall know that. behind the stage is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, like it's going to be a cage, uh, and then the screen is going to be behind the cage. Right. right? That is going to be weird. Like, where are they going to walk out? From the crowd. It's going to be like that boxing thing we just watched. Wasn't Paul Perry like that? The ring was up on the stage, and we were like, "What the fuck?" That sounds right. Like it's it, there's no way that they can put the ring in the center of. I don't think it's they can not, either. Mm. It doesn't work like it's that. It's made for concerts and shit. Right. We did our homework on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but like I, this card's awesome. Like the, what they lack in, in quantity, they make up in quality, in my opinion. The prelims are great. Raul Rosas, as of now, first fight of the night. Do we think that there's sticks? No way. What do we think? No? Wait, what, what did you say? Ra- Raul Rosa Jr. is uh, right now listed the first fight of the night. Well, I mean, look, it's one no, guy that nobody mean, knows about, and it's another dude but who's normally, 18 years old. Normally, tapology is right. Oh, I mean, you're saying if that's the actual order right. it's going to be. Yeah. Right. right. Uh, no, I would be uh, I would be a little surprised. Same. I think that I bet they move him to like the last prelim. Or if they want to just start it off with a banger. Yeah. As far as yeah. popularity, yeah. I mean, as far as all of these guys, they should definitely probably be uh, headlining the prelims. We got low key banger. We're, I'm gonna skip that one because we're gonna talk about that in a minute. I mean, Chires Borja's decent. I love Yasmin Howergy. She's awesome. Kind of low key hot, but also a really good boxer. Really fun to watch. Aldana Dumont. I don't know their exact rankings off the top of my head, but they're they're ranked pretty high. Dumont's got a tree trunks that she walks around on all and the time. A dumper. <laughs> rank number two, number two, number thirteen. Right? Norma's got that dump truck. Topology rankings. Oh, I see. Didn't uh, Laura Senko make mm. a comment about her her ass? She said she has a dumper. Her dump truck. Something like that. Yeah. She's hanging around. Oh, did she? She's really? hanging yeah. out with DC too much. Yeah, no shit. Um, they are ranked. What is it? You looking for Norma? Yeah. I don't see her. Nine. Norma's nine. There she is. Aldana's five. Hmm. So yeah, that's a that's a big one for that. Yeah. Division. Terrible, terrible division. Yeah, it's not the best. I, I personally, I like Dumont and Aldana. I I'm a too. fan of both of them. I think they both eat Raquel Pennington. <laughs> haven't. I mean, is Raquel ever going to fight again? Julia Arms. When though? I think it. I thought it, they booked <laughs> it. I'm pretty sure. I mean, fuck. If Raquel loses that, I'm going to be. I'm going to hate her even more, dude. <laughs> you can't. You cannot. I mean, I know Juliana's beat chicks. But I'm like, rooting. You can't lose to Juliana. No. I'm rooting mm-hmm. for Raquel. You got to lose to yeah. Juliana needs to get cut. Kayla Harrison. That's who you need to lose to. I like yeah. Juliana on tough, and then that was about the extent of it. To be fair, I know we're we're off topic here, but way off. I would rather Juliana actually win so that Kayla Harrison can beat the shit out of her. Ooh, yeah, but that's probably inevitable anyways. Yeah, but that just would be bigger, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Kayla would harm her. Yeah. Yeah. Throw her out of the cage. <laughs> She would arm her. <laughs> so, as always, we're going off the topology order here. We're this is we're two weeks ahead of this card, so I guess things could definitely change. But we're gonna go with 
five pipe main card listed on topology plus a low key banger. You guys ready for low key banger? Let's do it. By the way, we never said this. This is Clem's first actual preview show. And the first no, 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 I think it's his second preview show. Yeah, he's done this. Yeah, he's wait, 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 wait. Oh. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of a top ten. He's yeah. done two top tens. Did you do two? I think, I think, I think so. Okay. Either way, we've, we've never. Right. No, you're right. We've never done a preview show with anybody other than us for right. really well. Holy Toledo. Yeah. <laughs> We have so many guests, you know, you just happen to be the lucky yeah, one. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Grateful. Low-key banger. Grateful. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really fun fight. Ignacio. This might be the best low-key banger we've actually done as far as actually being a low-key banger. Maybe. Manuel Torres versus Anoxio Bahamundes. Manuel El Loco Torres, 15-2, and two, coming off of two, four, six wins in a row. In the UFC. In very quick fashion. Yeah. Fighting out of Mexico, 29 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall. Ignacio La Juala Bahamundes, 15 and 5, coming off win over Chris Osquiagos. He gets beat by everybody good. Uh, and boy, from, did he eat a head kick. Yeah. What does La Juala mean? I don't know. We need chat here. Yeah, we do. Except he doesn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, fighting out of Chicago from Chile. You could love this. Blah Muhammad in his corner for oh. every fight. Mm. They fight very similarly. Totally. <laughs> 27 years old, 6 feet 3 inches tall, 6'3", 155. He Mah looks Muhammad jai. is going to be in Bahamanda's corner. Yeah, he, I mean, he okay. is. Let's go Torres. La, La Juala <laughs> means the cage. Ignacio, the, the cage. cage. Bahamandes. He is the cage. He should be like, he should, his nickname should be like Nicholas Juala. <laughs> Nicholas yes. Cage, yeah. John, Johnny Walla. <laughs> no, um, he, at six three, dude, he is a fucking giant, and he's yeah. not like a really like scrawny looking six three. No. He's fucking he's got some biscuit. He's big. He cuts some weight. I bet. He has yeah, I was, to, I was gonna ask. Did he sure. cut his like, he looks every bit of like he could. If you told me he was a welterweight, I'd be like, oh yeah, for sure. Like he's totally a welterweight. A I mean, welterweight, dude. He's yeah. huge. Oh. I mean, Giagos. He's, he's probably he's he's got to be rock, like Luke Rockhold size almost. Height, well, definitely height. Yeah, but he's, I mean, he's I, like he's not. He's just not a shred. No, he's like filled out for being as right, tall right. as he is. Giago, which is weird. Giago's his last one. Uh, Giago's is probably what five ten. Yeah, and he's kind of a little brick shit house. Uh, though. He is, but I mean, they look like at least a weight class right. apart, if not two. Um, this is gonna be fun. That's I, a recipe for a banger, by the way. When a guy's way too big than the than the other guy. Yeah, those are almost always good fights. Torres in the UFC, he's been the bigger guy. I mean. Duncan is probably about the same height as him. Moto was way shorter, and Camacho was a little shorter. But this guy, Torres, is like kind of kill or be killed. He's never he, lost. He's yeah, undefeated, but he's he there with to be ill intent hit. behind everything. And I mean, everything is a loaded up heater. But if it lands, the other person dies. Yeah, <laughs> they die. <laughs> they I pass mean, away. Duncan clipped him. Duncan did clip the shit out and that both both of these guys are there to be hit yeah i'd say probably more so torres maybe yeah i think so bahamond is he's just longer bahamond is very long and he's i'd probably call him the more dynamic striker of the two he yeah. mixes it up a lot like he's a lot of spinning back kicks and shit and he dude we all fucking beat the dead horse about no one being able to fight southpaw with their opposite stance he does he switches when yeah. he doesn't have to yeah which is great it's like part of his game to yeah. switch and i love that um I don't know. What do you guys think over there? I like um, both guys, but I mean, it's it's hard to not go for the Mexican dude. Clem, yeah, you have an I'm, I'm opinion on their styles. You guys got Torres. Yeah, not yeah. really. I mean, he. I'm hoping Torres. I just don't like Muhammad. Torres <laughs> cracks. I mean, dude, he throws like an Alex Pereira left hook, but like probably loads it up he even wings more. It like way more. And it, but that's the problem with him is he gets clipped pretty bad because. He, you know what he's doing. Like, you know yeah. what he's throwing. <laughs> right. He's right. like, but hey, he's throwing to land the one. <laughs> but, I mean, he, I'm he leaning. Hard. My official pick is going to be Ignacio. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's great news. That's <laughs> a decision. That's where I'm going. I've, yeah. How do you I've, think he wins? I'm probably going to lean decision because Torres is going to be tough to put away. Yeah. Ign um, Ignacio definitely does, like, does not carry the same type of power. Ignacio minus 120. Torres plus 100, so basically a fucking pick. -up. I see yeah. this being a war of attrition, so it's like... Ignacio opened the dog. Uh, that's yeah. And 
I bet down. They bet on him. Yeah, I think I Big Boy's going to get tired quicker, and it's going to... Mm. He's got a tank. Yeah. But I does mean, he have a Mexican tank? It's hard to pick against the 6'3 fucking lightweight it, boys. That Chilean. Can that's fair. And he's Chilean, and I love that. He's going to be rangy. Shout out to all my Chilean family members. So. And he pokes like a teep kick, push kick out there a lot. That's the thing about the thing about Torres. Is he's... I think I said this earlier, but like he's been the bigger guy and who's had no problem finding his range, but I think, I think he's, he's going to have trouble. He's going to get in there and be like, holy shit, yeah. like, I can't find this guy because he's seven foot tall. Yeah. Damn. Um, Tapology Boats. Again, two weeks ahead of time. Stupid idiots right there. All stupid Already people. 641 no, uh, votes. Uh, 71% Torres. Is Bahamondes just going to want to get in there and grapple? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, okay. No. Should be a fifty three percent decision for Torres. I think this whole card is no, kind of built this, around striking. One hundred percent of this fight is gonna be on the feet. Bad. Probably. Unless I mean if someone gets clipped. Like I mean, Torres, he can wrestle a little bit. A little bit. I guess he that, that rear naked against uh Duncan was pretty slick. He actually Torres he has uh, what, seven I think seven knockouts, seven subs. Seven subs. So and his whole transition to back was really nice too. Yeah. The takedown was weird. He it like, was very He odd. had like a Kimura grip and he just like threw Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> like, it geez. fucking worked. It got him down. Uh I wanted to look at the actually wanted to look at how many takedowns these guys shoot. Uh well, Bahamundas, zero takedowns per fifteen <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> word, word up. Uh Torres, I mean three fights, small sample size. Eighty five percent. Three point two per three point two takedowns per fifteen, but there's it's only three fights and they've lasted less than like two and a half minutes all Ignacio's eighty five percent takedown defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're gonna bang. I, I'm picking I'm picking Bahamundas. Uh huh. And I could see him knocking him out. Bunch of maroons. You, you think so? Torres, he's there, man. Like he's just like you said. Hit me. Yeah. And he dude, dude, Duncan cracked the fuck out of him in Mexico. Yeah. What happens when the spirit of Mexico just enters the sphere and enters his fist? Ch- Chile. <laughs> and his fist enter that guy's face. Chile for the win. I do like that. I'm not gonna yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm hoping for a good fight on this one, to be honest. Oh, it's gonna be a, oh, it's yeah. gonna be. Yeah. A low key banger. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just that's just, just like say. just like Francis and Derek. <laughs> so what who are we, who are we taking? Bahamundas on this side. I'm gonna Torres. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna say I mean, I, I could see him getting him out of there, but I'm going to say decision for now. I'm going to say Bahamundas. Head kick? Club and sub. Ooh, okay. Clubs. I like that. You I guys? Got, uh, Torres, decision. It's Torres. Gonna a, it's going to be a war. Round two TKO. Mm. Like that. He's got a big left hook. That he might, does. might be a factor. Anything else on that one? No. Nope. All right, moving on to the main card. Recording topology again. This This fight is like so similar to the one we just talked about. I feel like I mean I already forgot what we just talked about. <laughs> both young guys, both guys boy. I really like. My fucking loser. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he stole my fucking name. You think he got that from you? One hundred percent. He typed in <laughs> "Uncivil War MMA" and said, "Wow, <laughs> I am oh, using that so, guy, kid's nickname." That is so cool. <laughs> I mean, wait, one of your fights guy was on KY three, right? So he may have saw it on there. Yeah. It was on KY three. Fuck yeah. <laughs> And then the cartoons parking lot in the rain. <laughs> and it was a it was a really exciting decision where they grappled a lot. <laughs> yeah. Dude, no, no, way. it was in jury. Really? Yeah. Oh my That's goodness. Bob Barker school. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Shout I out to Bob. In the R. whatever R. their fucking basketball court's called on Bob Barker Boulevard, O'Reilly Event Center. There it is. That one. Or All was right. it the old one? Wasn't like well, no, no, no. It was, no, it was like mm. no, and it was I sold. Fun fact: it. My dad built that gym. The, the new like one, the, the new jury one, the whole thing himself. Yeah, like the well, like the yeah, alone, one man by himself, <laughs> one hammer, <For> his country, <laughs> one hammer, no electricity. Exactly. No, I sold that bitch out too. <laughs> no electricity at all. <laughs> Anyways, so the fight we're talking about, <laughs> nothing to do with Dylan. Daniel Zell Huber versus Esteban Rivovix. Daniel Golden Boy Zell Huber, terrible nickname. And he's younger than me too, so that just solidifies it. Yeah. <laughs> I love how they both have one loss. 15 and one coming off of three wins in a row. He lost a weird one to Trey Ogden, his mm-hmm. debut, but he looked like shit. He like, he just did not seem like ready for that one. Mm-hmm. Like bright lights. Got Trey's him. crafty, man. He is. Uh, how did Trey beat him? Decision, I think. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I didn't, I didn't watch it back. I, I'm assuming grappling was a factor. Oh, a thousand percent. Uh, fighting out of state of Mexico. Huh? Uh, so New Mexico. Interesting. I, I guess. <laughs> State uh, of Mexico, eh? 25 years old, 61 inches, 25. one inch tall. Esteban El Gringo Rebovix, 13 and one, coming off two wins in a row. We watched him kill a man in St. Louis. Sure did. Yeah. That man is T Rex. 
Yep. He died quick in 30 seconds. He put him down. Maybe 18. I yeah, think it was, it was short. something like that. Whoa. Everyone was shocked. Fighting out of Argentina, 28 years old, 5 feet, 10 inches tall. This will be the second Argentinian. Ah, you beat me to it. I was going to steal your fact. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that Daniel Zellhuber's <laughs> fought in a row. Um, I hate this fight, not because it's not going to be good, but because I want both of them to win. Right. Both right. of these guys, one, one of these guys was on my top 10 rising star list, Zell Huber, and one was my honorable mention. Yeah. I, I think I want Esteban to win more than Zell Huber, but I mm-hmm. don't. So you're I, just going against the Mexicans on the Mexican card. Yeah, huh? you know. He's mad because Zell Huber kicked the shit out of Prado last time out. Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Right. And Dylan's a Prado guy. My fucking knockout artist. You could have just could not find Dude, could not find him. This is a, a, a that fight. Anaconda. One thing the that fight is is a reason that I'm really worried for Rebovics because Zell Huber he got on that jab. And but, he, he's six he's six one. He's not Bahamunda's tall, but he's tall and rangy. And he his whole fucking hand and fingers on his left hand was just red because he was just. Reba jabbing Vicks, uh, the he, fuck out of Prado. He's a little more crafty than Prado, though. You got a cap slice in is. round one. 15 seconds. In Prado that's is crazy. Like, Prado just kind of does the whole like dip down like Mike Tyson style shit. Yeah. I mean, he's shorter than Reba Vicks. He is very sure. short. My, the, my problem with Prado or with Eminari rolled. It should had to have Eminari immediately and then calf slicer. Right? Is that what happened? Where? I round tried. one. 15 second calf slicer. Nice. In Lux Fight League, yeah, I didn't watch it. That's out of uh, Mex- that's Mexico, is it? Yeah, Are you talking about this? Yes, that's four minutes forty five seconds into the round. Yeah. Oh yeah, fifteen shit. seconds left. You shit. idiot. Okay. Whatever. Fuck off. <laughs> but my problem with Rebovix is kind of my same problem a little bit with Torres. Is he he kind of leans leans a little bit, and he he's his head's right there to be hit too. Del Huber, similar problem, but he's a lot rangier than yeah. Rebovics. And I will say it's. At six one, he seems taller than Ignacio at six three. Yeah, in a weird way. Yeah, I guess it depends on who who's in there with him. But That's a good point. He fought. I mean, Venata. maybe it's because I'm referring to or I'm thinking of Prado as most recent fight. Well, Venado's there's, there's short and like, Prado short. Okay. Prime example of that is like a Leon Edwards. You never realize how tall that guy. Is. Yeah, mm-hmm. he doesn't ever look that tall. He was towering over Nate. <laughs> so he reuses his. Can we go to well. Esteban's page? No, you're already on it. No, you. I wasn't. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I already had it pulled up. Yeah, I mean, T Rex, thir- oh, 37, 37 seconds. 37 I was, seconds. I, I mean, it was quicker. Like, I mean, that's pretty, pretty fucking quick. The Radzibov one, I watched that today. Like, Radzibov's a motherfucker because he's, he's an absolute tank. That's why I'm had him hurt, though. Wrestler and can also crack, has a big overhand. And he hurt Rebovics early in the fight and then wrestled his way to winning two rounds. There's again. There's gonna be. I don't think there's gonna be any wrestling this fight. No. Can you scroll down some? I just. Hmm. That's a shitload of wins the, in a row. The right rain. I, I, I love Rebovix, and I like it. He's another guy. He switches stances a ton. Mm-hmm. Really good from both stances. Good with the hands. He can put combos mm-hmm. together. Rip to the body. But it's just, it's just the range and the jab that's gonna have me officially picking Daniel Del Huber. He's going to find a way inside, dude. I hope he does. Del Huber's a tough son of a bitch, though. He so is. that's what I was looking at here. All of his wins, aside from the Superman punch, the one anomaly, uh, <laughs> were by, like, sub. Inverted and, triangle. Right? They were all by sub until he started winning by punches, and then he hasn't won by submission again. So did he Fell fall in love with yeah. the the knockout? He can and all of a sudden, there. he's not going to try to get inside except for the throw right, over he, hands. He's another he's guy. That, there, he's though. another guy that no, probably. I mean, I'm just you know what I right, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did the moment you start falling in love. All I need is that one. If yeah. I can touch him one time, he can crack though, dude. And he's a oh, I don't. He's a tough just, guy too. Like he he can eat him. So he's like he. I think his mindset's like I can I can take more punishment than you can, and I'll find something. At some but point. like John said, Zell Huber is a tough fucker. Yeah. Esteban, he, that kid, and Zell Huber's how tall? Six one. Six one. Every bit of it. Esteban shoots point nine three takedowns per fifty. <laughs> look at the reach. Look, look at the eight inch reach advantage. Eight inches. Damn, uh, yeah, that, eight. That dude. Wow. gonna eat him up. I think. Yeah, he's gonna fuck him up. For sure. I'm gonna let my pride pick this one, and I'm I'm still sticking with Esteban. I hope yeah. Esteban wins. Zell Huber. Really? I think I, I really st- thought you were gonna take Zell. No, nah, I'm a. I'm a Rebovix guy. I like him. I like him too. I like Zell Huber, but we definitely good. Uh, what are the odds here? Minus two ten Zell Huber yeah. plus yeah. one eighty Rebovix. It hasn't moved much. I mean, open <laughs> minus one seventy Zell Huber, and they bet him up a little bit. Um, 
topology votes oh, pretty, wow. pretty wide. 759 votes, 77% Zell Huber, wow. 88% decision. I'm, I'm taking Zell Huber. I don't, I don't see this being as close as you guys might think it is, to be honest with you. For Zell Huber? No, I think Zell Huber is going to go in there and do work. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. You're right. He very well could. I, I got uh, Danny Golden Boy all day. <laughs> He's the real golden boy. <laughs> yeah. He's not like a big finisher, but knows how to win. Yeah, I mean he just touches you a lot mm-hmm. and can take it. I'm gonna give I, a decision. I'm gonna give a decision. I'm gonna go with the I hope you're right. This is probably the only time ever. I'm gonna go Rebovix. Don't be mad. Like, I'm not gonna be mad either way. I'm going Esteban. I'm gonna go third round TKO. Just because of what we saw, what we witnessed and I'm going exact opposite. Zell Huber, third round TKO. That's mm. that's. I mean, I like this. Yeah, I'm not mad at that either. You're Reba. watching this with us. This then, is right? a tough one. I yeah. like. I'm like John. I like both these guys. I wish they could both fucking win. I hope it ends in a draw. I mean, if so you, far that's how both fights are gone for me. <laughs> if you put a little bit of cash on Rebovix, not I, a bad. I wouldn't bet. blame you because he's the type of guy that's gonna. He's not. There's no quit. Like mm. he's gonna try, and you got to put him out. Out. I also think for him to put out Zell Huber is gonna be in the first two rounds. Yeah, maybe. I mean, first round probably. Zell Huber's just—he's just super. He's durable. tough, man. He's—he's one of the like he's gonna be like a max type guy. Like, yeah, like. he's yeah. That's why I like him. He's gonna be in some wars. That's just all there is to it. But again, I mentioned this last week. When you're how old is he? Twenty? What did I say? Twenty five. When you're twenty five, you're fifteen and one. Yeah, but you've taken some damage. Like, right. what happens when you're thirty two? You know? Yeah. He may end up being like a max. It just it, it never goes away as far as that or durability. Nate. Or Nate, but Nate. he might be a, mm-hmm. a fucking Tony or something. You mm-hmm. never know. Well, Tony took a shitload of damage for many years before he finally fell off. Yeah. Well. Next. All right. <laughs> All right. Next up. Who? Who are these guys? This, uh, this is a big one. This is a weird one to me. We'll talk Dude, about Diego's why. my goddamn boyfriend. Carry on. Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. Brian T City Ortega. 16 and 3, coming off a win over Yair. Where he blew his shit out before the fight even started yeah. and then kicked the shit out of Yair. Yeah, that was I, so weird, too. And he, he literally thought he fucked up his... And he said he was fine when the fight started going. He said he's already 33. Fighting out of California. Of time off. 33 years old, 5 feet 8 inches tall. Diego Lopez, 25 and 6, coming off of four wins in a row. His, his loss was short notice against short guys notice, 16 and 0. And he gave Evloev every fucking thing yeah. he wanted, dude. His last fight was... Another, Kind of short notice. Yeah, he not, li- not so that's the fight part. that made all of us a fan, correct? Yeah. What? Whenever he came in short notice against Evlev, we're like, yes. dude, this kid's fucking awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's another guy. He's Brazilian, but he trains Mexico. with Alexa Grasso's uncle and moved from moved away from Brazil. Great on tough. Great coach. I wonder what elevation Love. he trains at. 29 years old, 5 feet 11 inches tall. Probably shitload. Yeah. I'm going to say this right now and get out of the way. I do not like Brian Ortega. Oh, You've either. said that many a times, but you used to be a cock rider. I used to be a cock rider when I saw him coming in to do the UFC and triangling people, Everyone. which gave him the name T-City. And he was humble. And cute. and he was humble and cool and had long hair. Cute little blue And eyes. then he just got too big for his britches. Yeah. Have, <laughs> tough ruins people, huh? You know? Tough, tough really makes people he not like too it. big for his goddamn and britches. He pulled a Ronda. Cheating on fucking Tracy Cortez, or I, I'm just speculating on that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go with Allegedly. that. Allegedly. Allegedly. That looks, Allegedly. That's what came out of the Cortez side of things, girl. at least. Oh, really? I think so. What kind of idiot does that? And I want to see that girl, though. Yeah. <laughs> You're cheating on Tracy yeah, Cortez. Oh, yeah. If you ask Chad, there's no other girl well, right. hotter than Tracy. But that's a weird. What does he know? Yeah. Um. Um. Diego. Weird- uh. TKO. <laughs> yes. And that's where I'm at. Yep. Yep. T- yep. T- yep, shitty yep. is fucking tough, dude. He is tough, but dude, very tough. He likes to think, get punched. I don't in the think. Face. Uh, I think Diego wins una- uh, like a decision, a uh, unanimous. What I don't, I don't like, he stops T City. Yeah, Here's what I don't like. They're already set to fight. T City, for whatever reason, was not mentally able to fight him. And I thought it was weight cut issue. Yeah, it was. I thought it was weight cut. Well, it was, I, weight cut. was it? Is that what the, the, he finally yeah, said? Yeah, because he, he agreed to. He, he came out and was like, because Dana was like, I don't know what was going on with him. And then he finally came out and said, Yeah, I had a hard weight cut, but he said he just did not feel right. Is this back down at 45? And yeah, head. and that's what I don't understand about this fight because Ortega was going, he was like bulking. To go to 155, and then they came to him, and I and I'm speculating a little bit here, but they said, "Hey, we need a co-main event for this 303 card. Will you fight 
Diego Lopez, here's money. At 45. At 45. And then he tried to make the cut, and then they made it a catch weight at 150. So my question is, why the hell is he fighting him at 145 again? If he was already... Like he was trying to go up to 55. Maybe Lopez's camp just put their foot down. They're like, hey, if he wants to fight, it's going to be at 45. Well, that's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, If T-City can't make 45 because he was bulking up to 55, why wouldn't he just bulk up to 55? Well, it, it could also just not even... It could just Maybe be, the money it could was be Dana right. in the UFC yeah. causing it. I mean, it has to, they had to have thrown some money at him for yeah. sure. Because didn't they, didn't they put it up to a 150 catch weight yeah. and then he still couldn't make it? Yeah. Call me a conspiracy theorist. I don't think there was anything wrong with him, and I think he canceled that because he knew that he could get on this Mexican card. Maybe. When I'm we, not what, upset. At and that I call. Theory. I called that that week. I June that. June 29th. Tin foil hat, Steely over here. Yeah. So yeah, that's like that's like exactly two months of probably not. That's such not a, able to fight and then turn around and. And they already knew, like it, they were already promoting this card. Yeah, How many then. months ago was that from then to now? When they were supposed to fight? Almost exactly two months. That's it? See, now, yes. now that I say that, I mean, Diego did it. He fought, and he's fighting. Yeah, but Diego, you know, dude, he's fresh. He's green in the UFC. He's yeah. Gonna, he's going to fight whoever, whenever. He's got to, you know. T-City's basically fresh because he takes two years yeah, off. Yeah, no shit. Fuck this guy. Yeah, Diego <laughs> Lopez, fucking knockout. Let's go. So the thing is, the, the grappling, <laughs> I think they're they're both phenomenal grapplers, grapplers the grappling obviously. Grappling is... You cross all that out because they're even, in my opinion. And I think so. I think so. And I think T City, he's kind of he's turned a corner with the striking a little. He's still there to be hit, but uh, he he can strike a little bit now. Uh, no, he can strike. The big difference here First for me. I always thought he could strike. I've, uh, never, I've never not thought that he couldn't strike. Really? I mean, Max, Did you watch him fight Max? Max ta- taught him Max. too. He taught him how to Max. strike during the fight. He's well, like, hey, hey well, he don't had, do this when I do this. Do this. He had a bad weight cut, you guys. <laughs> Five years ago. Yeah. My point here is that. I think the big difference is just the literal explosiveness of Diego. Like he gets mm-hmm. after you fucking early. He's got pop, mm-hmm. dude. T City's he's, he's kind of skinny fat and he like <laughs> kind of slow in there, like takes his time. He likes to it's read. it's yeah, I'm with you on. Like he is obviously athle- athletic, but it's like they're two different I don't know. He almost, this this he, is what scares me. T City's really 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 good. Some might say one of the best at setting traps. For you to get into. When has he done that though? But he nearly choked out fucking Volk. I mean, he did. He put yeah, Volk that in was a, in a that. nasty that was trap. He did just choke out Yair. I mean, he's an opportunistic guy, but, but he's patient and he gets his right. ass whooped. But he's he's setting you up for a trap all, I, all I, times. I think he like he has to like get hit a few times, like get going. That yeah. Max yeah, fight 100%. was fucking six years ago. Wow. And he's never been the same since. It's just, Holy it, it's, shit. It's so it's weird how, how long he was ranked or is ranked in the top five at Featherweight when he all he did was either lose or yeah. not fight or beat Korean Zombie. Didn't he go <laughs> right. on a... Wasn't he one of the guys who went on like a 12-fight win streak before he fell off after Max? It was a bunch. It was like... Wasn't it like 12? I mean, he was like undefeated. Yeah. Man, what's with that number? A lot of guys go on 12-fight win streaks. Well, it was I, it was actually... He was 14-0. and 0. Wow, okay. Wow. Oh. I mean, at one point he was twelve and zero. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I wasn't wrong. Renato uh, Moicano. <laughs> uh, this Moicano's the man now. I love him. I like Moicano. He's sick. Minus one seventy five. Diego Lopez plus one fifty. Yeah. I see that. City. That's, I like, That's fair. I like that. I got yeah. no. I got no problem with that. Yeah. I just think Diego's going to get after him and mm-hmm. not get tired because we saw him ha- wrestle Disney. for three straight rounds with Evolve and not get tired. Right. Also, I think on Diego, a short fucking no camp. Short nose fight. Yeah. And I think Diego also, even though Ortega's known for his chin and getting in his fucking pussy whacked all <laughs> night long, Diego, I feel like he can still take some. You said he's known for that? Getting his pussy whacked? Well, yes. Allegedly. <laughs> I just, all, it's all alleged. Diego is just going to want it more, and that's all it's going to come down to. Boys. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna so. pull a Drickus. You gotta kill yeah, he's <laughs> he's the featherweight Drickus. Diego, Diego's on the top but of the mountain right now in, <laughs> skill wise. <laughs> Diego's on the top of the mountain right now, and Ortega's been fighting to stay on the mountain for as of late. Yeah. And, okay, 843 votes, 71% Lopez, 63% KO TKO. Love that. Mm. That seems a little high. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm saying TKO KO because I just dislike T City that much, but it'll more than likely be a decision, I think. I, I think yeah, it's going to be a decision. T- I think it's a decision. T Shitty's been knocked out twice. 
T City. Well, one okay, one's a shoulder injury. That, you guys are a little too hard on T City, dude. You guys are a little that's bit me. too hard. I, I'm the only one that said that twice. No. Uh, he's the one who fuck he, Dylan hates him. Okay, I, so his I, TKO I, losses are shoulder injury and doctor stoppage. I said fuck that guy. Okay, well that <laughs> that's pretty harsh too. That's probably worse than T Shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I've never liked him or his blue eyes. I Fuck don't him. know. Yeah, he's got the whole... Uh, yeah, you've the... never liked him. Mm-mm. You've never been a fan. Oh, I get hit a lot and then I triangle people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, wow. <laughs> so, where are we going? All going Lopez? Fuck what? yeah. yeah. Look, he's, Lopez my, he's, he's my favorite right now in the UFC. I think it's a very uh, easy decision, though. I think he just beats him up for the entire three rounds. I might go... I might go sub. Diego sub? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. No, I don't see that. After beating the shit out of him for so long, no, 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 T City no, no, no. just gets Maybe. so tired. No, 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 no. I would say that T City has better sub defense than Diego does. I, I think it's a fucking just deadlock on the I grappling. I, I really do. I think it's very close, but I still think that Brian has a little tiny edge, I and mean, he's got a little more tools in his belt for for the grappling game. Personally, I think Diego's going to drop him, swarm his ass. I think Diego's definitely going to drop him, him to sleep. I don't think because T said he's probably not tapping. No, yeah, well, he he's pr- not no. tapped. He, I he, respect he, it. He will. He probably would. Think he would. Yeah, I don't think he would. Diego won't tap. T said he'll tap. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's the type. Of, weren't you like? Should we like stop being so hard <laughs> on fighters? And oh, that was me. Anything else on that one? No. Okay, now here's the here's the black sheep of the bunch. <laughs> My favorite, my most excited fight of the whole. Can we night. make the this Jamaican quick. sensation? Yeah, we can make it quick. But I uh, just like we have talked about earlier. Was that on camera? Were we talking about that on camera? This fight? No. Mm. Okay, so this fight we're talking about Ronaldo Rodriguez versus Odie Osborne. I feel like this very well could end up being on the prelims because this doesn't make, really make any sense as to why this is on the main card. No, I don't get it. And the UFC has it on their website saying it's main yeah. card. You got, yeah, you but got, their website's always fucking wrong. No, Tapology has it right now. Tapology too. has it the main third, card? The, the literal third to last fight, and hmm. UFC.com has it the first fight of the main card. Explain to me how that makes any sense whatsoever. Break this shit down. Let's get it going. Ronaldo Lazy Boy Rodriguez. He also I've seen it him listed as Luis Rodriguez too. So I don't I'm not sure what's going on there. It's odd. Sixteen and two, coming off of a bunch of wins in a row. Bunch meaning not very six. many. Six. No, that's plenty. That's enough. That's good enough. Uh, fighting out of Mexico, 25 years old, 5 feet 6 inches tall. Odie, the Jamaican sensation, Osborne, 12 and 7, coming off two losses in a row, both right. both RNCs. I think this fight's built for the crowd. I just saw the vote. Keep going. Fighting out of Milwaukee, 32 years old, 5 feet 7 inches tall. I can't stand Rodriguez. No. But he's going to win. No, he's not. He's going to win. Seth, he's the slowest flyweight in the world. I understand that. But he's gonna. But they they a, built you him. Think a five hundred, uh, just just better than five hundred fighters, gonna be sixteen and two. Yes, interesting. Mm-hmm. The hot well, take. Mm-hmm. Uh, Odie's. There's no doubt about it that Odie's fought the better competition. He's been in the UFC for obviously a lot longer. Right. Rodriguez had one UFC fight. I think the matchmakers see a hole in here, and they need a Mexican to win on this card to I save their. My crowd. thing is. My thing is. I, what I don't understand here is like, if this is on the main card, the UFC sees Rodriguez have a back and forth fight where he ends up winning against Dennis Bondar, who by the way is 0-3 in the UFC now. And well, that that fight, we watched this earlier, that fight makes the UFC say this guy's got to be on the main card of Noche UFC. Dude, Definitely it, don't no, spell your name that way either. It was the worst <laughs> flyweight fight I've ever seen in my life. And that's like coming from you, no, hates flyweights. It, dude, they, yeah. there was action. Like It wasn't it, it, boring. But very slow shitty action. But technically it was not impressive. It was just, I don't know. There's a reason Bondar is 0-3 in the UFC, because he did not look that good either. Yeah. And and side note, Rodriguez lost on the Contender Series to a guy who went on to go 0-4 in the UFC. And look, he's got this this good win streak after that, but it's against a 6-5 and five guy. 5-1. Five and one, f- I mean, the 5-0, five and oh, that's, five you one, know. 5-1, five 5-1. Oh, five yeah, those could be guys that are, you know, on the come up, like fighting cans themselves. Yeah, it is. Another 5-1, and one, and then an 11-11 eleven and 11 guy. And then that's what brings him back. Dana's to the like, UFC. bring him back, right? right. Yeah, eleven, eleven. I'm just, tough. I'm not so. I think on the eleven and eleven is more impressive than the fives. Though. I would agree. Yeah, experience. I would agree. Yeah, I'm just not Grit. the fancy case by case. The fancy records not sell me on this guy, dude, because he's just not sure. He don't have it, and Odie is way, way, way faster. Yeah, Odie. The, the really the one good thing about him is he's a really good athlete. Who do you think's got the better tank? 
Because neither of these guys are going to get knocked out. It's going decision. I probably Rodriguez. Probably they're both flyweights, yeah. though. So I mean, they're both they're going to be there. Yeah, <laughs> Rodriguez. I mean, he gets taken down a lot. He his punches are so slow, but he's really durable. Like he can take it. And he's durable. another guy that like he wants to win the fight. Like he's not going to. Bondar like, was taking him down with ease. Though. Yeah. After cracking him with a fucking yeah. override like two, three times, he, it was like. It was like it looked like slow motion. It was like it was like ooh, like the fucking uh bang. <laughs> what is hold on, hold on. What is that fucking is it Zootopia? Where they go to the license bureau and they're fucking Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the animals? sloth. The sloth. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, ha. ha, ha. <laughs> I That's love these guys. That. <laughs> That's, That's such a weird comparison, but yeah. our crowd definitely knows that reference. Yeah. That's these guys. Anyone more, that has kids out there, yeah, more of them knows will than you think. Have you not watched Zootopia? No, you're crazy. It's no, a good me movie. either. Nope. <laughs> you never seen that? Of course I have. Okay. <laughs> I just don't have. We were talking about people who have kids. I don't have kids, and I'm watching. I can it. see you and Kelsey like getting super stoned and watching that for though. sure. Probably <laughs> naked, Absolutely. Probably horny. Kelsey probably rubbed them off. <laughs> To Zootopia? This, like this. <laughs> That's probably against the law she somewhere. Did one of these. <laughs> <laughs> That's against the law. So anyways, oh, that's yeah. minus 160. Luis Rodriguez. Ronaldo Rodriguez. Whatever his name is. Bet on the dog, boys. Plus 140, Odie Osborne. It opened plus okay. 230. Okay, some people are smart. Me. I just think Rodriguez is technically bad. I think so too, man. I really do. Like bad, all this talk that you guys are doing is me, it's but. making me more confident in my pick that Rodriguez is going to get this done. Decision. That's craziness. Decision. Cock suck. That's mm. wow. Mm. You know what all this is? Crazy. No, no. Look, look. It's people saying like, "Oh, Osborne's twelve and seven. Oh my god, let's fucking." You think that everybody, all seven hundred of them, almost eight hundred, are only looking at just their records? Have I'd say had, the vast majority, and the have rest you seen of them our are comments. Are, it's a good point. That's no, MMA, actually, I'm the only one who that's doesn't MMA really. Fans they're for all, you. yeah, they're no. These guys are so far up their asses right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. 778 votes, 92 percent Rodriguez. If you're 71 percent sub, that is huge percentage sub for a sub. When's the last time we saw sub wins? Does he have so? So five? Odie's lost. Uh, that's five or that's Odie. That's Chucky Olive's He's, percentages on sub. Odie's been sub four times. That's not a good look. Chucky hey. Olive, Ronaldo. I mean. I the majority of his, the most of his wins are by knockout. He has five subs. You guys are saying he hits like a sloth, but he's got seven KOs. Yeah, well, who are they against? It's turds. Like, one and zero, oh, zero and one, one right, and zero, right, right, one right, and right, one, right, two right, and right, one. Right, well, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not seeing it with this guy. I'm not I, sold he, on he him. He probably is going to win. Oh, because bucks, Odie's not. I, I'm, I'll bet you. I'm this. saying Ronaldo's probably going to win. You're not taking Odie. But I'm taking Odie. <laughs> yeah, I, I got. Five, I'll take. I'll take. I got five on Odie. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Chad. Chad, write that down. I mean, Odie's <laughs> Odie's done his fair share of losing in the UFC, but I don't. know. I think this is. I think we got a fraud in the making here, little Rodriguez. Listen, I don't disagree with you guys at all. I just think he's going to win this fight. Yeah. Bye, sub. I mean, neither of these guys are going to blow your fucking socks off. That's for sure. I'm going on Odie Osborne. Knockout. Really? Whoa. Mm. I'm going to go decision. Yeah, probably, I'd love to see a knockout. Probably though. makes more sense. Clem. Next. I'm oh, uh, sorry. sorry. I'm going to go Rodriguez. <laughs> what an idiot. Bye. Do a sub. Sub. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winners on this side. Of Get the table me out of here. Winners over here. You guys are stupid. So we go from that piece of shit to First this. First round sub. Yeah. Co main event. It's crazy that this has happened three times, dude. Let's it's go, Shevchenko. Fuck. Fuck yeah, she's gonna beat no. her ass. Bullet. Alexa Grasso was a fluke. versus Valentina Shevchenko three. You mean two times ago? Last time was a fluke. When Valentina almost like should have beat her. Yes, that was a fluke. It was a draw. You're talking about when she got choked out the first time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The draw. Everyone thought Valentina won. Correct. No, that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, that's what I mean by fluke. Oh, Alexa Grasso sixteen three and one. Coming off of a split draw where she retained the belt. Bullshit. Uh, Got to beat the champ, though. Fighting out of Mexico. Mm-hmm. I think she, think she, that's what Valentina did. But Guadalajara. Valentina beat her. 31 own. years old, 5 feet 5 inches tall. Valentina Bullet, Shevchenko, 23 and 4. Also coming off a split draw loss. Fighting out of Kyrgyzstan. Well, fighting out of Peru, apparently. From really? Kyrgyzstan. Since when? 
I did. It's like it's always said Peru, but I'm pretty sure she like trains in Vegas. Yeah, that's dog shit. She's definitely at the 36. 36 years old. Do five feet die. five. Amen. Don't care. She's the greatest of all time, not named Amanda Nunes. They're both little cutie pies too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Valentina won that fight. Yes. And also Alexa looked horrible. I watched that fight back. Alexa looked terrible. Yeah, we're gonna get a rerun of that fight, the last fight. Except Valentina's gonna make sure it doesn't go that way. Alexa looked so slow compared to Valentina in that one. And typically Alexa she like wants to counter box. But Valentina was not throwing first. Dude, she wouldn't let her. She's one of these girls that she's just different than all the than everyone else. Like I, she's just fast, strong, like super technical. Like she's just like real methodical about everything she does. I still think, although I, she won the last one and outspeeded Alexa and outlanded and everything, out wrestled. I still I think agree. Valentina's starting to have like a little bit of an athletic decline. Maybe but compared very to unfortunate her, to see. Maybe well, compared to her amazing. Right. history and resume but that's not i think now that she's yeah there, yeah i mean that's all you can go on like a dick a slight decline off of her sure, resume off her sure. prime i don't think it's anything i think now that she's about. now that she's 36 it's like she's gonna realize like hey it's fucking do or die time like yeah. this is I, I gotta gotta go i can see her winning and riding off to the right, sunset i'm kind of with you on that the weird thing is that when like Valentina like basically refused to go first in that last fight and that's basically why she pieced her up because she would she wanted to counter strike they both wanted to counter strike I think she's looking for that head kick but well, I don't even know if she threw one but she she like stayed really long used her footwork Alexa's real foot slow like pl kind of plods her way in there really heavy on her feet and doesn't have like Kyrgyzstan dancing. The problem here is like if, if Valentina's like I gotta, I'm gonna like prove a point, and she like tries to get after. Her, I think that's bad. Well, see, I don't think it's. Are you going off what I said? Like I'm just like I don't think it's more. I don't think it's like. I didn't mean she's gonna go after her like more aggressively. That's yeah. Not, that's well, not, that's not what I meant. I don't think she's gonna do that. She also took Alexa down like multiple times in that fight. And dude, Valentina's got a very underrated wrestling game. Yeah. Absolutely, she might be one of the most well-rounded fighters currently fighting in the UFC. Alexa got—I mean, she got up like relatively easy every time, but still, just getting the takedowns is like obviously winning most of the time. I mean, sixty-three percent takedown accuracy for Valentina—that's kind of crazy. Uh, that is crazy. Yeah, she hit four takedowns. She went four for seven. Damn. In that one, my problem here is that. It really, I mean, Valentina got, I don't know if you can call it, it really dropped. It kind of was like a balance thing a little bit. But I feel like the, the person yeah. that, weirdly enough, the person that's going to like really hurt the other person, I think is Alexa going to hurt Valentina if, if someone gets dropped or rocked real bad. I disagree. I mean. I think Valentina's definitely got the tools to, to do it Valentina's too. Valentina's going to make it happen, dude. I'm just based, basing it off the two times I've already fought and who got mm -hmm. dropped and subbed and then who also got dropped the second time and who didn't. Do you think that Art, yeah, but do you think that you can't put as much weight in the first fight because maybe Valentina just completely overlooked how good Alexa Grasso really is? And then the second time she got robbed. Valentina didn't I, get I'm, dropped the first time, right? She got cracked. That didn't set up the sub. No, she threw like a spinning back kick or some nah, shit and then Grasso yeah. took her back from there. All right. Right. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, either, fuck you. But she got dropped the second fight. Ah, and she off. didn't drop Alexa any of the fights. You said it was more of like a balanced fucking thing. A yeah, slip. Well. Yeah, fuck you. You're, you're contradicting <laughs> fuck. You son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, but I will Boy, say... <laughs> Alexa didn't fall down due to balance but from getting hit. And well, Valentina did. Listen, so. I'm going to keep going with this tinfoil hat steely. <laughs> Wouldn't it behoove the UFC... <laughs> behoove? To make... Their biggest, baddest female star in the UFC ever since Amanda went away. To keep her around and maybe get slightly robbed on a decision so we can get a third fight out of these the two best girls in MMA right now. And then end up on a huge card like this. Yeah, I don't think just so. Saying, <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Hey, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. I'm not right, saying it's likely. All right, Brennan Schaub. I mean, We're just going to say it. Guys get, robbed. Get that out. guys get robbed that the UFC could care less about all the time, so... It's good. Point. I'm saying the I'm saying the UFC does care though. That's, yeah, well, I'm, I'm taking but the I'm saying, stance on that. I'm saying no, but I'm saying if if they're robbing no namers, nice, and then they it's rob a, a big yeah. name like you know what's the and difference? I'm also not insinuating that the UFC has anything to do with the judges' calls, but I don't know. 
I don't trust go. anyone, With man. With all that shit being I think that's said, exactly what you're saying. <laughs> I'm taking Valentina Decis. Also, the last one was a, was Noche UFC, wasn't it? I don't know. Pretty sure it was the last Noche. I'll go with that. I'm not for sure on that. Gee, that kind of Valentina fits into TKO is no. my bet. That's, oh wait, yeah, me too. Valentina's putting her away this time. She's not fucking around. She's not going to leave it to I the judges. I bet she initiates the offense, yeah. but yeah. her intent is to counter the counter. I've got Valentina head kick, rocks her, TK, like, beats her up till the ref pulls her off. Oh, that'd be rad. And then we off. see that sick little dance she does. Holy yep. fucking shit. Minus 120 Alexa. Yeah, well. Were well, you surprised she's the favorite? Yeah. She's oh, the, I'm not. She's got the belt. Uh, did she I, She clearly lost that last one in my opinion. I, thank God. And I usually, watched it back. <laughs> usually you are not the kind of guy to say that kind of shit. That's not right at all. You don't usually go for the typical people got robbed and, or, like, you know. Yeah, but I mean, I'll, I'm pretty down the middle when it comes to who I thought won a fight. I think, and pretty, I watched her back yesterday. So I think you're the farthest thing from straight. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got Valentina, Valentina. head kick, yes. Valentina TKO, Valentina decision in the and I'm, it's TKO third head kick is what starts the TKO. Okay, fair. Yeah, I like what that round. Wouldn't that be awesome if she just starched her? Oh, that'd be rad. And she, I like uh, Alexa too. L- late in the second round. Okay. Valentina decision. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I mean, she won the last one, and unless Alexa has been training with like Olympic wrestlers, Dude, yeah. She, and also, I that, just think that the, is my realistic call, but I'm trying to be really exciting here. Yeah. I do think Shevchenko does their, win decision. Their first fight was like lightning in a fucking bottle for Grasso. Like she just fucking struck. Yeah, but it, I mean, it wasn't like she was just getting her ass handed to her. I know. I know. I just. But think, it was. Wasn't it fairly early in the fight? Mm, was it not? I also think Shevchenko didn't really show up. It's to probably her like fifth prime round. fourth round. Fourth round. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, super early. I don't think Valentina really like showed up fully on that first fight. It's just hard to. I mean, that's. I know what you're saying, but it's hard for me to get on board with that when she just absolutely runs over Jessica. I. You know, like, are you getting like I'm fighting Jessica? I. I gotta fucking work really hard. No, yeah. Wait, wait. What do you mean? I, I mean, if she's not getting hyped about. Alexa Grasso, how do you explain her killing Jessica I? She didn't take a shit in that fight. I would say Alexa Grasso is a far superior fighter than Jessica I, and that's why. Yeah, so why would she take her lightly and not well, Jessica I? Mean, I? It had been four years, three years since she had li- since she had lost. So maybe she started to big dick herself. Thanks, Clem. I don't think Valentina's that it's, kind it's, of... I don't necessarily agree with you, but <laughs> that's what I... <laughs> Fuck you, Clem. <laughs> that's what... Uh, that's, I mean... You could see it. You're like, oh, I've won. I beat Jessica I. Like, I was able to beat Andrade. I don't agree. No, but we've no. picked the exact same fighters this entire card so far. It's, I will say that was the case. Damn, with, like, I changed them all. Amanda, Amanda <laughs> Nunes. That's, I think that's what happened yeah. with her. Yeah, same. She it, was like, I'm bored. Let's try fighting without training once. <laughs> but, can, but honestly, though, besides, yeah. besides uh, Kayla Harrison, is there a more exciting female fight to be made right now? Period than this one, yeah. No, I mean, no. th- these are the two. These are the two baddest. Bitches. Oh, 100 percent. It's just all there is to it. Yeah, and I think although they were really nice to each other on tough, they were. I still like, think I mean, overly Ta- Tatiana nice. Suarez, but she doesn't fight anymore. They so. were overly nice. I liked it. I, I mean, did too because they're not. If they were talking shit, it would be weird. It would be odd. But I think, dude, Alexa is like a little sweetheart. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's She's not awesome. gonna be like as good as Gedelia versus Yoana. Like that she was, was, some shit which was horrible. That she was cringe. As fuck. Ah, I loved it. That she was cringe. Loved it. Fuck it was, off. It was so cringe. Fuck off. Claudia's like, like, you sound stupid. Let's get two. <laughs> She's. <laughs> you sound stupid, <laughs> She's bro. She's like, what? what you is sound it? stupid. Yoana, Yoana, Yoana said something to Gedelia, and she was like, "What'd she say?" She was like, "I beat you real no, bad." No, she's like, <laughs> she's like, "You're not hot," and then Gedelia's like, "You're not." Uh, <laughs> You're not. <laughs> I beat that you. was actually pretty fucking. Funny. Let's get the two. Let's I get two chicks that can't speak English and make them English. speak English shit talk. You want to can speak plenty good English. What kinda. Are you talking about? That was before she was hot. Kinda dude. my cock, and also watch your mouth. <laughs> she got hot like recently. No, oh, as in six years ago. Nah, recently, that's a fuck it. When she I got get, the bolt ons, I'll give you a three and a tan. She moved to Florida. Yeah. Anything else on this <laughs> fight? Yeah. No, let's carry on. I gotta pee. <laughs> Alright, main event. It's a sugar show. Sean O'Malley versus Marab Navalashvili. I think Marab swarms him. <sighs> sugar Sean O'Malley. 18 and 1. Coming off three wins in a row. That's insane. Right? Had a no contest before that. Uh fighting out of Scottsdale, Arizona. 29 years old, 5 feet eleven inches tall. 
Marab the Machine, Devalishvili, 17 and 4, coming off of. Three wins. Three wins? Oh, no. That's grappling. Oh. Three, four, five, six. A oh, shitload. Seven. Eight wins in a row. His. Oh, fuck. No, it was more than that. Oh, that's Sambo. Sambo, like, like, Sambo, Sambo. Like 10 wins oh. in a row. So something around the, that number. Uh. <laughs> Fighting out of New York, originally from Georgia, but he's with Aljo, Seth's favorite. 33 years old, 5 feet 6 inches tall. Kind of to Clem's point here, like I think Sean's got about 10 seconds every round to knock him out. We thought that about Aljo, too. Yeah, same. Yeah, uh, yeah guys. Al- Aljo, when are we going to stop over? When are we going to stop overlooking Sean O'Malley? I this is where I am. Listen, this is where oh, I'm I stopping that. This I know, but but that. everybody's always doubted him every fight ever. This is where I'm stopping. So, I'm not doubting him at all. I think he's going to easily catch Marab, and I love Marab. So stylist, stylistic matchup, be damned. Just pick Sean every time. Basically, is what you're saying. No, I'm saying like that's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Marab shoots 6.43, or he lands 6.43 takedowns per 15. I bet Aljo's number is like three or two, so they're not the same at all. I agree. Go to, go to Marab's record real quick. Oh, I'm going to piss all over myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> last, th- last three wins. Jose Aldo, Peter to. Jan, Henry Cejudo. Marlon Marias, that's who I was trying to think of. He wobbled the fuck out of Marab. Yeah. Well, he also wobbled the fuck out of everybody. That was 2021, it? Marlon, though. That was whenever he was on his way out. Right. right. Here's the thing. When, when, That's what I was getting to. When Sean either knocks you out in the first round like he did Aljo or... No, was it the first fights, round? There was it second or something? Well, either, it was in the first round. I point is, is that... No, no, when, no, no. no. When, it was the third round because the the, the, the post-fight interview, they were like, well, they say that you were down in the cards. Second the, round. Second, second round. Second round? Okay. <laughs> in the second round. <laughs> the point is, is that when you fight, when you get the fight over with in the second round or you fight Cheeto, who is a literal punching bag... You don't get tired. Sean, when he first came to the UFC, he got fucking tired a lot. But dude, what changed my mind on that was the 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 yawn fight. Yeah. Yeah, but he went three did, hard rounds with yawn. Did you see man. what did you see what Marab did to yawn? But again, Sean fought yawn like whenever he no one wanted to fuck with yawn. Yeah, but the point is, is that Marab is gonna put a much higher pace on mm-hmm. Sean I with just, the wrestling. Here's the thing. I so I'm tired of picking against Sean and him proving me wrong. So this time I'm picking Sean by a, a knockout with, in three He's or gonna less. Prove you Rob went 11 for 49 on takedowns against <laughs> Peter Yawn. 49. Oh, 49. <laughs> that was, that was, you think Sean? You think Sean's going to survive 49 takedowns? I, think I don't. He, th- I think he can get back up. Yeah, but I mean, a, it's 49 gonna, is every, crazy. That's insane. Every, every time he gets up, it's going to cost him something. I it will, it will. But I think he can get back up, and I think he's going to know how to measure like when is the appropriate time to waste a bunch of energy. You can know you go I back mean? to that I page? I agree. I Did think that's a Marab through four hundred strikes as well. <laughs> that is activity. No, I love my. I, I love Marab. Yeah, I love Marab. <laughs> yeah, but he landed half of them. Dude, I don't care, but he's keeping you active the whole time. I understand. I understand. Talk defense, about putting a offense. pace yeah. on a guy. Bro. No, right. That's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, well, look, look, look. I'm a Marab Hold fan. Hold on. 11 of 49, only only almost seven minutes of control time. That's all. Yeah, he can't hold you down. That's what I'm saying. But that's yeah. that's better in my opinion. Nah. So get I don't, up, down, up, down, I don't, up. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's... Man, I'm doing burpees the whole time. I that's not... that oh, As far as someone's stamina goes, but as far as the judge's scorecards, not yeah, so much. I don't think these quick little dumps are going to be what uh, makes him But if he's that active and he's size. throwing that many up, the whole round is consisting of him doing that. He's yeah. dominating did, the whole did you round. you watch the yawn fight? Yawn, like, he, he could throw, like, a punch and then he's down again. Like, he, there was no... He didn't. He couldn't do anything. I, uh, okay. Sean's going to be hear me out on this. more rangy and no, more footwork, not. obviously. He's, but. Sean's going to be the much longer guy, yep. and Marab is going to respect Sean striking much a lot more faster, than Yon's. I much think. faster guy, too. And he's going to make and Marab this, pay for every one of those un, un, unsuccessful takedowns. I think sure. in order for Marab to get in to close, he's going to have to like completely sell out for it and like leave himself wide open. Right. He's going to have to expose himself in order to get to that that close. And I think and then I think you will. If you're if you're if you're it. wide open for Sean O'Malley, he's going to find you and he's going to crack you. Mm-hmm. I'm going. He, he, I, did, he did it to the better wrestler of Aljo. And also, I will say. So let's just take it back in time a little bit here. Let's take it back in time a little bit here. Remember when Corey Sayan Hannigan killed Frankie Edgar? Yep. Okay, the two scariest guys hands down in the vision at that time were Aljo and Jan. Mm-hmm. 
O'Malley beat them both. O'Malley beat them both. He did. Rob wasn't around back then. Well, yeah, he was shadow boxing in the rain. You're right. <laughs> and also, he was, Marab, he was diving into frozen lakes and giving Marab himself concussion. Rob is a dumbass. Yeah. He's like, hey, guys, look at my cut I got. Yeah, Dana was pissed about that. And Dana, Why did you lift up your wrist? It was on his eye. No, I pointed. The, I was taking a picture with my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Selfie. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be smart to beat Sean O'Malley. Apparently, I mean, you gotta I do something because the guy doesn't lose. I think that's kind of a crazy lose. statement. Cheeto beat, Cheeto, beat Cheeto beat him. I mean, it was a you're, weird. You're telling, the guy hit the perennial me. nerve and just like shut off. It was yeah, weird. Yes, it is a loss, but it was the weird drop foot. The point weird. is, you're telling me every fighter that's successful is smart. But also, Luke Rockhold, uh, you ever heard of him? Hey, O'Malley was <laughs> beating was beating him, Cheeto, until that happened. Okay. Well, Rob's gonna beat Sean, and the odds would suggest the same. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, not, not actually, but it's a pick 'em. Yeah. Wow. And actually, Sean's technically the favorite. Minus 115. Sean, minus 105. Marab. Wow. wow. What do you want? How don't you tell me? $100. I already, I already got a bet with Dylan. I'm not made of money here. Five. Now, like and subscribe so I can bet more. Now, here's the thing. I could see... This, 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 oh, this, he's changing his tune. This is the, this is the <laughs> type of fight where you're gonna, you would see like... I, I don't think Marab's going to do this, but somebody... Like Marab would go in there and like want to prove a point that I can strike with Sean. I feel like that's what Aljo did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I could see that, but Marab's he's just his mind is. It's also what Piotr did. He has tunnel vision and it's it's wrestle wrestle for twenty five minutes. It's like I will get a takedown, and if I don't, I will get a takedown, (laughs) and if I don't, I will get a takedown. (laughs) But I won't win. I will try four (laughs) hundred times. And that is not no, don't get me wrong. I do really like Mariah. I love he's, him. He's super. He's an entertaining and he's guy. Whole, yeah, he's hilarious. I'm just he's tired great. of picking against Sean and him proving me wrong. I, yeah, dude. I'm, just I'm not because of that reason. Now that you finally picked Sean. Right. Right. The next Robert. time I pick, right. the next time I pick against O'Malley is when he fights Sanhagen, and that's it. That's, that's craziness. That. That's that. I feel more comfortable about Sean beating him than I do Marab. Yeah. No, not <laughs> why? Because Umar beat him. Yeah, I guess Corey. Corey's lost to guys like Marab, like that style grapplers. But he's also out wrestled guys. Yeah. Like Marab wrestles guys. Like fucking strikers, though, too. Yeah, like Cheeto. It's, it, it, Cheeto loses everybody. So. Cheeto yeah. sucks. We don't even need to talk about Cheeto. We don't, he's not a good example for anything. He but sucks. Corey, Corey beat him by wrestling. <laughs> yeah. O'Malley beat him. Marab would beat him. Everybody beats him. He sucks. Well, topology votes are 891 of them. 67% O'Malley. Knockout. 88% yeah, 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 knockout. Yeah. Yeah, well. It's not going to be out cold, though. He's going to get it's TKO. Rep Savage. This is, this is where all the... The casuals come around and start picking. This is the yeah. The, Sean has the he has the Conor McGregor effect. I've been watching tape on Sugar. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Snoop likes him. Sean's yeah. got the Conor McGregor like fan base. Yeah. It's the same style fan yeah, base. I mean, he, but then again, McGregor always proved like everybody wrong until Sean's the fans end. are the guys that only watch the UFC when Sean fights. Mm-hmm. I th- I think just like I think O'Malley's got a much better team behind him to give him a much better game plans and much better scenarios than Marab does personally. And I, mean, I think that's going to be a big key in this fight. There's not much game planning with Marab. Well, I mean, okay. you know, I mean, you don't have to tell him anything really. It just, I mean, Marab is works with Aljo on a regular I'm saying, basis. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, to him. in order to beat a guy like that, I do everybody fucking everybody picked Aljo except for me on that fucking fight. Did you pick Sean? Fuck yeah, I did. Are you kidding me? What a crazy question to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get out of here? Just, I yeah, have to I mean, I'm gonna shit everywhere. Absurd. What's so what, I'm, official I'm, pick? Marab decision. I'm going sugar in three or less. Same. Sugar TKO. Marab by Russell Fuck. Yep. Wow. And again, I'm not mad at that. Any last thoughts on this card? No, no. I'm actually, I'm going to say it again. I'm <laughs> way more stoked about these cards after we go through them like this. Dude, this card is awesome. It really this card, is. Yeah, this card is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see what the order looks like. And if Aside it, from that bullshit flyweight fight. God this is forbid. A great <laughs> you think the UFC is going to fork over $17 million to make a card happen and not be epic? I just don't. It's a great card. I just don't understand why there's only 10 fights when we know that fights drop all the time right i just you well know, i and just think it's got a lot to do with because it's the sphere but i do think it's a, it's a historical moment in, i do think that they're going to the be sport. overly prepared for a fight dropping out yeah, yeah I know I'm gonna tinkle. And, and side note they they had michelle Pereira versus fluffy oh, hernandez on this which is, would be sick yeah, that, uh, would that would be rad be all right well we're gonna get out of here so don't go yet i'm not i, I have to stand up or i'm gonna Piss uh, at HR Podcast, Instagram, at Hunger Rain, right? TikTok, our socials, including Pro Fighter Austin Klum, be on the screen right now. Pro Fighter, Cecily. 
We'll see you next time. Understudy. Oh. <laughs> Later. Tired.